morning. So today we're going to cover the next uh, on 7.1. Outcome G. Perform the calculation involving the pH. So for the pH, the equation needed negative log H plus punya. Yang ni awak dah belajar. Or involving the dissociation constant, Ka or Kb, A refer to the acid, B refer to the base. So for the K, concentration of the product divided by the concentration of the reactant. Since you are dealing with the reversible reaction, so yang ini semua adalah, okay, akan ada Ka and Kb punya expression. And then you need to find the initial concentration and or equilibrium concentration. So for this case, ice table might be required. Dan memang required lah sebab bila kita ada dengan weak acid dengan juga weak base, dia adalah reversible reaction. So kita kena tahu dia punya concentration sewaktu so equilibrium tu berapa. So you need to construct an ice table. And then, yang ni degree of dissociation, sama macam chapter 6 sebelum ni, the equation pun sama, ataupun degree of ionization. Sama sahaja. So, for the degree of ionization, the equation will be the change divided by the concentration at initial. Yang tu. Itu beberapa equation yang awak perlu tahu. Next, kita akan tengok the solvent. Solving problem involving the weak acid and the weak base. Basically, these are the type of the equation that you're going to find. Lah. Sama ada di bagi awak uh, equilibrium concentration atau initial concentration ke. Equilibrium concentration and you find the equilibrium concentration and then you find the Ka or the Kb. Ataupun terbalik. Di bagi awak Ka, Kb and then you need to find the equilibrium concentration berapa. So, kita akan tengok ada beberapa example dalam modul awak. Awak boleh tengok sendiri jugalah. Okay. Step in dealing with the calculation of the weak acid and the weak base. Yang ini hanya untuk weak acid dengan weak base ya. Macam saya bagi tahu sebelum ni, kalau strong acid dengan juga strong base, dia adalah a fully forward reaction. Fully forward reaction meaning that all the reactant will proceed towards the product formation. So, awak akan dapat terus direct di kat belakang ni. Okay. Kalau contoh letak 0.1 molar di sini, awak akan dari dapat 0.1 molar of the H plus juga. So, simply ambil value, substitute into the equation of the pH, negative log H plus contohnya. So, dapat terus berapa pH. But, for the weak acid and the weak base, awak tak boleh buat macam ni. Tak boleh simply masukkan the value. You need to construct ice table. So, bila awak construct ice table, ingat balik chapter 6, awak akan dapat tahu berapa concentration. Contohnya, ini adalah H plus A minus. Awak akan tahu berapa concentration dia at equilibrium. And the value in here baru boleh substitute dalam equation of the pH. Okay? So, kena ada ice table dulu. And in order to construct an ice table, you need to have a balance equation together with the phase. Okay. So, kena ada balance equation. So, geometry kena balance. Ada phase sebab baru awak tahu macam mana nak buat key expression. Baru boleh proceed dengan ice table. Okay. And then, the second step. You need to write down the Ka and the Kb expression. Ka, Kb. So, for the example atas ni, saya tukar ni jadi reversible. So, for the Ka akan jadi product concentration times with the product satu lagi. Negatif kat sini. Divide dengan Ha. So, this is the Ka expression untuk contoh atas ni. Okay. Kb sama jugalah. So, you write down the Ka, Kb expression. And then, step number 3. Kalau Ka and Kb value is given in the question, awak boleh equatekan dia. Ini adalah Ka kan tadi. So, awak boleh samakan the value given kat sini berapa. Ini ikut question. Question bagi berapa. And if the value given for the Ka or the Kb is smaller than negative 5, Meaning that negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, seterusnya. We can use assumption method. 
And then when you use the assumption method, contohnya apa-apa value kat sini, minus dengan x, kita akan assume dia adalah C sahaja. Example, kita akan tengok apa maksud dengan yang macam ni. Okay, so value dia too small, kita boleh ignore saja the changes applied. Okay, tapi kalau the value of the Ka and the Kb is larger than negative 5, contohnya awak ada negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1 ataupun 1, kuasa 2, kuasa 3. So yang ni kena guna quadratic uh, equation method yang B squared mana 4AC tu. Ataupun saya rasa korang guna calculator je sekarang ni. Yang ni tekan calculator to find the x value. Untuk cari X value awak apa Yang ni kita simply ignore the X value kan Yang ni awak kena find the X value Ok Once awak dah cari the X value Awak bolehlah substitute Dalam ice table awak ni tadi And then you can perform the calculation In order to obtain the H plus Ataupun OH minus yang saya kata tadi Substitutekan dia Ataupun terus cari PH Ataupun cari the degree of dissociation Ok now, page 195, the example number 4. Example number 4, dia minta awak calculate the concentration of the OH minus ion in 0.1 molar of ammonia solution. So, the ammonia solution kat sini, kita ada 0.1 molar. Yang ini adalah concentration at initial condition Awal-awal dia letak And then dia akan dissociate Ammonia ni adalah weak base kan So dia akan ionize To form the OH minus So first thing Sebab dia ada dissociation kat sini berlaku Macam tahu dissociation Bawah ni ada hint Yang ni ada KB Dia adalah weak base maksudnya So you need construct ice table So, to construct ice table, kena ada balance equation. Ammonia plus dengan H2O liquid to form the OH minus aqueous and NH4 plus ion. Ammonium ion. So, you substitute the value into the ice table. Ini masuk dalam ni. And then, masuklah tekan uh, initially product zero sebab tak ada. And then for the change, minus dengan X for the reactant plus X for the product. And then awak carilah yang ni tambahkan initial plus dengan change. And for the equation, dia minta awak kalkulakan the concentration of the OH minus. Yang ni yang kita nak cari. Value of X ni berapa. Okay, you need to find the X value. Okay, next. Follow the guideline, dia kata write down the expression for the KB. Yang ni ammonia, so KB lah. KB ambil product, concentration of the product, divide with the concentration of the reactant. H2O will be ignored sebab dia adalah liquid form. So, liquid tak akan change. So, substitute kan dia sebab K adalah value ratio concentration at equilibrium. So, awak masukkan dia. Kat sini. Yang ni semua at equilibrium lah ya. Divide dengan yang ni. Semuanya at equilibrium. And since the KB value is given dalam equation ni. Dia bagi 1.75 to power negative 5. Kita boleh equatekan dia. Sama dengan 1.75 to the power of negative 5. Okay. Lepas tu. Disebabkan. Kalau kita tengok the KB value is small kat sini, kita boleh guna assumption method. So, yang ni yang saya kata tadi, yang ditulis kat depan tu, C tolak X, kita akan assume dia sama dengan C. X kita boleh ignore. Contohnya, uh, sebab value dia kecil sangat kan, 0.0000175 contohnya. So, awak tolak dengan value yang ni, macam tak ada changes pun pada C value tu. Sebab tu kita boleh simply ignore. So, you ignore the value of the X, dapatkan value C saja. So, dalam kes ni, 0.1 minus X akan tinggal 0.1 saja. So, you perform the calculation using the new expression yang tadi. Yang ni, instead of 0.1, tukarkan jadi 0.1 sajalah. Yang ni yang baru after the assumption. So, X squared divided by 0.1 akan equals to the KB value given in the equation. 1.75 ni. Ni. So, awak tekan calculator, you find the X value. 
So once you find the x value, tengok balik ke atas ni. To 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 to. This is the concentration of the OH minus. So you got the answer for the part A. Dapat dah jawab part A. And then for part B, diminta the degree of dissociation for the ammonia. Degree of dissociation, you write down the degree of dissociation punya equation. Change divided by the initial concentration. So, for the change adalah X. Ni X kat sini. Divided by initial concentration of the base, not 0.1. Substitute the value. Awak akan dapat the final answer. Itu example number 4. Example number 5 and example number 6 in the module, dia lebih kurang sama sahaja. So, saya tak go through lah. You go through by yourself for the example 5 and 6. Dia banyak calculation. So, you need to have to do by yourself. Baru awak nampak flow dia nanti. Okay? So, exercise. You can do the exercise practice question number 4 until 11 starting from page 198. Sampai lah, fish 203. So, awak try buat soalan tu. If you get stuck, boleh PM saya. Or you want to ask during Google Meet pun boleh. Waktu dalam kelas Meet nanti, kita akan tengok jawapan dia berapa. Okay, bye-bye.